Today, I am going to listen a very interesting story on Harmony in the Kitchen, Lisa's Journey Through Grade 12 Once upon a time, in the quiet town of Millington, there lived a young girl named Lisa. She was a diligent student in grade 12, navigating the challenges of her final year in high school. Despite the academic demands, Lisa always found time to help her mom, Mrs. Anderson, in the daily chores, especially in cleaning up the kitchen. One sunny afternoon, after a day of classes, Lisa returned home with a backpack slung over her shoulder. The aroma of a home-cooked meal wafted through the air, indicating that Mrs. Anderson had been busy in the kitchen preparing a delicious dinner. Hey, Mom, Lisa greeted as she entered the cozy kitchen. What's cooking? Mrs. Anderson smiled warmly, wiping her hands on her apron. Hi, Lisa. I'm making your favorite spaghetti and meatballs. How was school today? Lisa placed her backpack on the kitchen chair and replied, It was good, Mom. We had a challenging math quiz, but I think I did well. That's wonderful, dear. I'm proud of your dedication to your studies, Mrs. Anderson praised, stirring the simmering tomato sauce on the stove. Lisa offered to help by setting the table. Can I assist with anything, Mom? Sure, sweetie. Could you grab the plates and utensils from the cupboard? They're right next to the refrigerator, Mrs. Anderson suggested. Lisa nodded and headed towards the cupboard. Absolutely, Mom. I'll set the table for two. As Lisa arranged the plates and silverware, she engaged in a conversation with her mom. Have you heard from Aunt Clara recently? Mrs. Anderson nodded, chopping fresh parsley for garnish. Yes, I spoke to her yesterday. She's planning to visit us next month. It'll be nice to have her over for dinner. That sounds great, Mom. I can't wait to catch up with her, Lisa said, placing the last fork on the table. With the table set, Lisa turned her attention to the sink, where dirty dishes awaited. Looks like you've been busy, Mom. Let me help with the dishes. Mrs. Anderson appreciated the offer. Thank you, Lisa. That would be a big help. You know where we keep the dish soap, right? Lisa nodded. Yes, Mom. It's under the sink. I'll get started on the dishes now. As Lisa filled the sink with warm, soapy water, she reflected on her day at school. Today, in English class, we discussed a fascinating novel. The teacher asked us to analyze the characters and their motivations. Mrs. Anderson listened attentively while drying a plate. That sounds interesting, dear. What novel are you studying? We're reading To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. It's such a thought-provoking book, Lisa explained, scrubbing a pan. Mrs. Anderson nodded in approval. I remember reading that in high school, too. It's a classic. What do you think of it so far? Lisa shared her thoughts. I find it eye-opening, Mom. It deals with important themes like justice and racism. It's amazing how literature can make us think about real-life issues. Mrs. Anderson smiled, proud of her daughter's thoughtful insights. I'm glad you're enjoying your literature class. It's incredible how books can broaden our perspectives. 
As they continued working on the dishes, Lisa noticed a pile of mail on the kitchen counter. Mom, have you checked the mail today? Mrs. Anderson shook her head. Not yet, Lisa. Would you mind grabbing it and placing it on the table? We can go through it after dinner. Lisa agreed and fetched the mail, sorting it into neat piles. Here you go, Mom. Looks like there's a letter from the utility company and a magazine. Thank you, dear. We'll take a look at it later, Mrs. Anderson said, appreciating Lisa's organizational skills. With the dishes done and the table set, mother and daughter sat down to enjoy a hearty meal together. As they savored the spaghetti and meatballs, they chatted about various topics, from Lisa's plans for college to Mrs. Anderson's upcoming gardening project. After finishing their meal, Lisa offered to clear the table. I'll take care of this, Mom. You've been working hard all day. Mrs. Anderson smiled gratefully. You're such a thoughtful daughter, Lisa. I appreciate your help around the house. As Lisa stacked the dishes in the dishwasher, she shared her excitement about an upcoming school event. There's a charity fundraiser next week, and I volunteered to help organize it. We're raising funds for a local animal shelter. That's a wonderful initiative, Lisa. I'm proud of your commitment to giving back to the community, Mrs. Anderson praised. As the evening unfolded, mother and daughter continued their routine of collaboration in household chores. Whether it was preparing for exams, discussing literature, or contributing to the upkeep of their home, Lisa and Mrs. Anderson exemplified the strength of their bond. The story of Lisa and her daily life not only highlights the importance of family and support but also provides a practical glimpse into the usage of everyday English sentences and phrases. Through their interactions, readers can grasp the nuances of conversation, from discussing school experiences to expressing opinions on literature and sharing plans for the future. The tale of Lisa serves as both an engaging narrative and a valuable resource for English language learners seeking to enhance their proficiency in daily communication. Hope you like the story. Hit the like button and share with your friends. Do subscribe the channel and turn on the notification. Thank you.